Hi, I'm Travis with SRM Performance Products. Today I'm going to show you how to install a SureCycle Action System into a Beretta 391. This is a list of tools you will need. You will need a punch pin, a half inch socket and drive, a can of brake free, pipe wrench, some kind of torch that will get hot enough, and a Phillips screwdriver or drill with Phillips head. First I'm going to show you how to disassemble the gun. You want to clear the gun and make sure there's no shells in it. And then go ahead and screw the barrel. You will use your punch pin or the trigger. Push the button right here. Pull out the trigger. So now I'm going to take off the buttstock. You want to take your can of oil, put a little on the holes, and a little on your drill. Down in here there's some Phillips screw heads. Pops off. Take your half inch driver. Stock. There you go. I'm going to show you how to take the threaded plug out of the current action system. You want to put it in a padded vise, the receiver. Tighten it up just snug. You don't want to squeeze the receiver too hard. Get your torch. Heat up right on the end. Be careful, that is under spring tension. If you can, get a rag or something. After cooling, you can thread your factory plug back into your tube. If you are not interested in saving your factory spring, then you can skip removal of the plug step. Get your torch. And you want to heat as close as you can to the receiver without hitting it. The heat is not going to hurt the receiver. Get it good and hot. I'm going to leave it on there for 
45 seconds to a minute. Get your pipe wrench on the very end. Sometimes they require a little extra heat. After you have cleaned the threads, you can install the sure cycle. I used a brush and some simple green. You can use whatever kind of gun cleaner you have. Go ahead and install the sure cycle. If you want, you can use uh, blue Loctite to hold it in nice and tight. Screw it all the way down to the bottom. Then, very important, you need to take off the nut the washer. Use a quarter inch wrench on the milled flats on each side and just cinch it down good and tight. Okay, now that your sure cycle is in, it's time to put the buttstock on. A lot of guns have shims. For this one, we'll use 60DX. We'll put that on. Grab your buttstock, slide it over the top. Now that the buttstock is on, you want to put the flat washer in on the stud. Then you want to put the nut inside the socket. Some guns are a little long. You have to hold the buttstock and the receiver. Put it on. Now that the buttstock is good and tight, I'm going to put the pad back on. You want to make sure that there's still plenty of oil on the pad. Use your drill. And remember you're just screwing into plastic, so you don't have to get them super tight. I'm going to finish assembling the gun. Okay, I'm going to install the bolt carrier and bolt into the receiver. Along with the action arm. Now you want to make sure that the bolt link gets inside the cup. Then just push it down. You can tell how smooth it is. Install the bolt handle. Make sure that button is still pushed down on your trigger. Push the bolt release as you slide the trigger group in. Hole should be lined up. A little tack goes right in. For the barrel, put your gas piston on. Lock the bolt back, slide the barrel on, and slide your forearm on, 
screw your flooring cap down. And make sure everything's clear. If you have any questions, please visit us at surecycle.com.